Can you just go back to those incredible 14 days? I mean, you've obviously watched Ford, Farrell, Joel Angie go pretty well in the pool stages. Yeah. Um, did you have any inclination that he would change, Eddie would change it up and give you a run out? Have you spoken to you before or was it literally on the Thursday or the Wednesday where team sheet, go- how does the team sheet go up, by the way? No, it was an old flip chart. How do, how do you find out? Yeah, um, there's no team sheet goes up. Um, at the start of each week, you get put into into teams for training, but that doesn't. So it sometimes can have a have a correlation with what the team is the weekend. Sometimes can't, so you can't really read into that. Um, we get we get told at the same time it gets released, so there's never never any um, sort of team news leaking out because we actually don't know. Um, and we get asked a lot, and everyone thinks we're lying, but we genuinely don't know. Um, so we'll have we'll have a little little group huddle, sort of. I don't know when it normally gets announced. Nine, ten o'clock on a Thursday. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have a little team huddle. Uh, and he'll and he'll, he'll speak uh, speak to the boys and tell everyone the team. Um, it's obviously never in writing. Um, it's always just in in a sort of a chat. Um, but yeah, that was that was a bit of a shock. I didn't think. I didn't think at all uh, I was going to start that quarter final because obviously I'd missed all the pre warm up the warm up games before the World Cup with my knee. Um, we got out we got out to to the World Cup and and I hurt it again in the first game against Tonga. So I didn't play the USA game. Um, played the Argentina game about ten minutes off the bench. Um, then obviously the France game got cancelled. So then I, I was thinking. That's my chances of starting a game in this World Cup gone. Haven't I've only played twenty minutes or something, no. um, and then all of a sudden we're playing against Australia in the quarter final, and I'm starting at thirteen. I'm like, this is class. Um, I was, yeah, I didn't expect that at all because, like you say, the boys have been going really well, so didn't expect anything. Um, and then we've heard a lot just before you go into the game. We've heard a lot about the, and we see the spirit in this. <laughs> in this team you know you, you rally around yeah. each other it's not a case of you could be accused occasionally as a collective of having a little bit of siege mentality if you're sitting on this side and sometimes everything's warm and fuzzy but if someone within the organization oversteps the mark or, an, or there's an awkward question bang the whole group whole group tighten up so you can see how close you are on that just talk to me about the teams announced and suddenly, George Ford's got a twenty-two on his shirt. What, 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 what takes place? Right, like you say, everyone, everyone was just. I think we sat down before the World Cup and said that we we will do whatever we can to win the World Cup. And if that means you're starting on the bench, not involved, everyone's got a role to play. Uh, and we'd much rather be sitting at the end of the World Cup having. Uh, well, I definitely know I would have been, I'm sure the other boys would have been playing 10 minutes in a World Cup and having a World Cup winner's medal than playing, starting and playing every game up to the final and, and losing. Obviously, we lost. Um, but I think the team, we bought into it that summer um, and everyone was just going towards one goal and that was obviously winning the World Cup and we were, we were very close to that. Um which is so dis- so disappointing because we got so close. Um, but... I mean, is there an is there an acknowledgement from George, for example? I'm just trying to work out because I remember yeah. without going back to 03 again. But you know the teams were announced, and the first person who shook my hand was Tati, Mike Cap, and we'd yeah. been like this for five years, man. And he he played in the semi final. Tyndall had been dropped for the semi final. Uh, he played, come off the bench in the quarters. Cat had been awesome in the second half. Played in the semi-final, had an absolute cracker. And suddenly, the team sheet goes back on a Wednesday night and he's not in it. And literally the first person who shook my hand was in. Yeah. And it was done. Bang. Over. Story. Finish. Crack on. So I just wondered if there was, or you'd all agreed that you wouldn't do that sort of stuff. How, how, how does it play out? No, yeah, he did. He came over and said, well done. Uh, well done to me. And I was like, well, sorry, mate, but I'm sure, you know, we all know we're in the same... We're in, we're in the same team, going towards the same thing, and same thing happened the next week. Uh, obviously, it went back to forty thousand and Manu, um, and there was nothing. There was no hard feelings from me at all um, that way. Obviously, the, everyone, everyone played got, against Australia. I thought I played alright. Um, I was a bit, obviously, a bit rusty. Um, Forty-six, fourteen, not a bad scorer. 
yeah, it was, it was, it was a real good scoreline. Um, I felt, yeah, I felt, I felt I played all right. To be fair, I didn't, didn't feel like I um, would have got would have got dropped, but Eddie made it clear that it wasn't a dropping; it was a changing for the for the style of play he wanted to go with. Um, and that's one thing he's always been pretty good at is picking the right players for for the right opposition. And um, I had no hard feelings about it being rotated back um, for that semi final. Um, just on that and, on the on the quarter, there's you know we can all do your your left footed kick, uh, ball bobbled, big hit, pick up, look in front of you. It's tidy having Johnny May on the wing, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Literally, you, you you had a. 14 acres to aim at. No, as long as I get it somewhere there, easy. And that yeah. must be, I mean, I'm just, you know, we're talking about that too. There's so much pace. In there. It's such an enjoyable back line to play in. It is, yeah. I think it's just good knowing we've got so many players that excel in so many different areas. So like you've got Manu, there's no one better to get over the game line than Manu. You know, if you make a break and you look to your left, there's no one quicker than Johnny. So, or maybe Corabetti, who's was unbelievably fast. But, um, <laughs> But John, Johnny's there and he's pretty much quicker than anyone you'll come up against. So I know that if I make a break there or you make a little little bust and, and you look to the left, Johnny's pretty much always going to be there. Um, and obviously there's quite a lot of space there. And I think Karevi was chasing me down pretty hard. So yeah. I had to just put it in there and hope for the best, really. No. So, so you've got the disappoint, you've got the surprise of being selected in the quarterfinal against Australia. Game goes really well for you. You set up this brilliant try for Johnny May, as we've just been talking about. Then you've got the disappointment of being, I guess, dropped in inverted commas for the semi final against New Zealand, one of the greatest performances we've ever seen from the England team. And then we get to the final and you're back on the bench and you, you remain on the bench. And we know how that game ended up. And then after the World Cup, perhaps surprisingly, Eddie says to the media, I'm taking responsibility for this because I think I got selection wrong. Not in terms of his 23, but in terms of whether players were on the bench or starting. Um, and everyone was scrambling, trying to work out who he was talking about. Was he maybe talking about you? That he maybe, on recollection, would have started you in that final if he could have had his time again? I don't know. Um, I think hindsight's a good thing, isn't it? You, you can look back on things and think, oh, I should have done this, should have done that. But I, I, at the time, I had, I had absolutely... No, no reason, and no, no. There's no way I could complain about being on the bench. I was just ecstatic to be involved. Um, I think the, the, like you said, how well the, the boys played that week before. For him to have changed anything would have, and if if he changed anything, we'd have lost. Imagine the, the reaction that he would have got. He would have got for that. So, um, yeah, I had I had no, no problems with that. He told me the week before before the New Zealand game, I wasn't dropped anyway. It was a it was a rotation because of what what he wanted to go with going into that game, and um, obviously, the, like I said, the boys went they were unbelievable against New Zealand. So um, there's nothing I could have I could have expected more than to run the bench, really. What was the score when you went on in the fun? I, I didn't check my notes. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I haven't. I've only watched it back once. Um, I mean, it was, it was, it, yeah, they were two scores clear, though, weren't they? At least it was it was eighteen nine at least. Did, 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 did the first try happen? Yeah, I think they scored. Um, up the left, two, I think they scored two. Yeah, Pimpy scored and down the right, Colby. Oh, Colby. That, oh so you? I mean, you? I mean, literally, you were like, "Go on, rescue this because it's now thirty two nine. Do what you can." I think those no, those two were both on when I when I was on. They they both scored when I was on. So right. so it was eighteen <laughs> nine. They'd gone two scores. I mean it was. Yeah. I think there's an acknowledgement. So let's flip it around quickly, just to talk about the South Africans, and then we'll get onto the extra stuff because it's obviously so much to talk about extra. Um, I've got, people say to me sometimes, uh, "What was it like playing against uh, the the Springboks?" And I tell you, I, I compare it to being put in a washing machine sometimes, right? So you put in a washing machine on a on a spin cycle. Because they're so physical, it's so powerful, and literally, you need someone like uh, like a Itoji or a Johnson almost to smash the front of the washing machine and stop it and find a way to stop the game. Because when they're on a roll, uh, it is just so physically intimidating. And so, yeah. as you went on that day, was it was it different level, different gravy in terms of what was coming at you? Yeah, it, it was. They they were very physical, like you say. Um, 
played against South Africa before a few times, but they were, I think, a step up physicality wise to what I've experienced with them before. Um, obviously, they've filled one to fifteen with absolute units, but um, yeah, it was it was it was a real real intense atmosphere in that in that final. Um, and as as you probably as you'd expect being World Cup final, but I think it, they were they were a step up physicality wise from what I've experienced against South Africa before, definitely.